All right. Looks good. And let's go ahead and add one more. And we're going to use the shortcut down here. New layer, layer number three. Make sure I click on the first frame. And I'm going to select a tool. Before I do that, I'm going to go change my fill color. And let's go ahead and choose. I'm going to choose the fill color to be red. And then I'm going to choose my border color to be green okay and let's go ahead and choose the shape that we want and I'm going to go ahead and choose a rectangle tool and I'm going to hold down the shift key on the keyboard and draw a rectangle. Alright. And let's go ahead and select the rectangle. I'll make sure I click on the first keyframe and click inside. Let me go ahead and select this shape again and I want to align it vertically alright let's make sure that first frame is selected and let's insert a motion tween alright it's going to convert it to a an object and we know it has been converted to an object because around the shape there is a blue outline now let's go ahead and click on the last frame so we can drag the shape to its last position so that I can do the tween I'm holding down the shift on button on the keyboard and I'm dragging this across the stage and the shift button will make sure that it stays straight and centered and I'm going to make sure that it is centered let's go ahead and click the align button and select vertical centered and, and then let's go ahead and click off stage once and click back to frame number one okay I'm on frame number one and I want to make sure it is aligned in this vertical center just click it Okay, and it's done. I'm gonna click off stage. I know I've deselected. I'm not. It's not. There's no blue outline around it. And let me. I'm going to rename layer one. The star. We know it is selected because there's a blue outline around it. So it's gonna be white, white, pulsing star. Enter and let me make sure let me select first frame and I want to make sure it is a center align okay it is and let's go ahead to layer 2 <coughs> layer 2 is let me double click the name I'm going to call it color 
four star all right and then the third layer let's go ahead and click it and let's go ahead and click on the first frame and make sure the selection tools chosen at the top right here and let's go ahead and change the path of the tween let's drag it up should be good let's go ahead and cl click enter on the keyboard okay that looks good and I'm going to click off the stage to deselect click back into the first frame and I'm going to rename layer 3 I'm gonna call it radiant square enter and I have a double arrow I'm gonna drag it out hold on let's see if it'll let me do it I'm gonna drag it out to to so it's doubled to the 48th frame I'm gonna do this to all of them Right. Let's go ahead and lock it, and I'm gonna play this flash to see what it looks like. Click off the stage, Control Enter on the keyboard. Okay, let's go ahead and close it. <clears throat> Alright, that's it. Well, I hope you were able to follow along. And if you learned something from this tutorial, please go ahead and leave a positive comment and a positive rating. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a message. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial.